Simon Orion, MD, and you're watching New You. Wonderful, it's getting better and better every year. So this is like uh, my second or third year, I think. The second or the third event I'm coming to. It's getting bigger and bigger, and that's Kim right there coming up. Kim is coming out, and obviously you know her, the Kardashian family, very well. Yes. Can you tell me a little bit about your relationship with them and you know the work that you've done with them? Obviously, I started work being the doctor, and over the years I've become a family friend, and we've developed a very nice relationship. So, and the best part of it is that obviously, aside the, from the fact that they are great influencers and beautiful people, they're also very much in keen and understand what type of procedures need to be done. And they they don't necessarily want to exaggerate their natural appearance and beauty. And we have worked very nicely together. Great, great. And so, tell me, um, Kylie recently, you know, came out. She took her her fillers out. She's going for a more natural look. Are, have you been seeing like a more trend towards like natural or, or people are getting um, you know enhancements in certain different area? What trends are you seeing in the plastic surgery? I think I definitely see more people wanting to look more natural as, as opposed to a few years ago. Both cheekbones, jawline, all this contouring and lips that we do and the rest of the body. People want to look like themselves but just a better version of themselves. So I think Kylie kind of brought it up to again uh, brought it up to the attention of everyone that this is a new look to be more appear more natural kind of like a like a no makeup makeup uh, it's you can still do things but just maintain it and keep it natural and that's the way to be now what trends are you seeing in terms of the body of plastic surgery like it always seems like people want different things you know whether it's big butts you know enhancement or, what are you seeing right now you're I think luckily I see that the butts are not getting as big as they used to so they're getting a little bit smaller and more natural and okay. within the norm and also I see a lot of body etching, uh, liposuction, body etching, and we have more devices to do body contouring without having to go under anesthesia. So there's a no, uh, huge spectrum of things that are happening without having to go under the knife and looking a lot better. So it's a lot more of a trend towards that. Um, what do you think for someone who's looking to try something like that, they hear about cool sculpting, or what kind of research should they do, or you know, what do you think? I think the best way is to do a lot of research by going online and, and going to different sites, not just one site, and get a lot of information from different sites to try to get the best information. And also nowadays there's a lot of reviews and comparison that you can do to get the best advice and uh, go to places that have the most experience with the particular procedure you want to have done. Definitely. And now is there a beauty secret that you can share, I mean, with all of your years of experience, helping people look more beautiful, more young? You know? I think obviously staying away from the sun, when you drink any alcohol, make sure you drink a lot of water and no smoking. Those are the big ones. There's no secret. These are the best things you can do for yourself. And stay natural and stay with, if you want to enhance any part of your body or face, stay with more of a natural appearance.